Here's your daily dose of gaming news. This is something really funny, which uh, affects Bethesda, really, not the uh, gaming community. Uh, but they went with the Nuvo in order to protect their new project, Doom Eternal. And the Nuvo is a highly controversial uh, software, which is supposed to protect games from getting cracked. And I think most companies understand that there is no such thing as a game that is not going to eventually get uh, pirated. Uh, but what they're hoping to do is to delay the piracy so that people who are really excited about the game will buy it on launch and they're not going to wait for the cracked version. Uh, well, let's be honest, if a game gets cracked several months after release, those people probably weren't going to buy it anyway. So. At least this is the logic. Now, as I understand, the Nuvo is one of the better uh, anti-piracy softwares available. And there's also a lot of controversy surrounding it. Uh, people complaining that it slows down your machine. Uh, people complaining that it lowers your frame rate. And I guess now, finally, that can be put to the test. Because as people downloaded the game from Steam, they found out that uh, there is an executable which bypasses the Nuvo. Uh, so Bethesda accidentally included that into the full game. Now, of course, they panicked and they deleted that executable, but uh, the internet is forever, which means that uh, people can still now download the executable and play the game without the Nuvo. So what's going to be really interesting is that now people can make the comparison between the game with the Nuvo and the game without. I know certain comparison like this have been done in the past and they did show a slight improvement uh, when it comes to frame rate um, while playing the game on exactly the same specs and exactly the same PC. Um, but it was uh, negligible, if I remember correctly. Now, if there are other cases that, uh, that, that I'm not aware of, do let me know. Uh, but it's also going to be interesting to see how people handle uh, the test on Doom Eternal with and without the Nuvo. Uh, with that said, I uh, also played the game. Uh, I have to say it's uh, kind of interesting. I did prefer the previous one more, though. Uh, I wish I could have made a gameplay to, to show people uh, my, my impressions as I play the game. I feel that this new version is a lot easier than the previous one, simply because you get access to two weapon upgrades right out of the get-go. Uh, the shotgun explosion one is incredibly powerful. Um, you also get a lot more health when fighting demons. You get a lot of demons that uh, are zombies, which are just placed in the level and you can use them in order to uh, uh, get additional health. Uh, you start off with the chainsaw, and then you have like the flyer, uh, the, the flame burner, which uh, gives you armor. And now all the demons have a vulnerability. Like, for example, the eye demon, you can just take it out really easily by throwing a grenade in its mouth. Um, and uh, all of this makes the game feel a lot easier. And I really love a challenge. I really like to play games on a uh, hard difficulty mode. I'm playing this one on Nightmare. Now, uh, I know there are other modes where uh, if you die once, you're dead forever. I, I do not enjoy that, though. Uh, I, I enjoy, like, hitting a wall and trying and trying and trying until I get past it. So, uh, for me, it wasn't enjoyable that they, they made the demons a lot easier. And uh, it, it, it also feels that th this is just the, the thing that I'm getting. Like, the demons have less weight to them. Uh, in the previous Doom, it was a lot more... I don't know, the demons have more weight. It, it, it's hard to describe. Like, when you go into next to a soldier or an imp, and you fire the shotgun once and you just blow it away, it, it seems like they're a lot weaker. In the previous one, uh, I remember the imps took like two or three shotgun blasts to take uh, care of them, unless you shot them in the head. So, you know, that, that's just my opinion. But other than that, no, the game is good. It's great. It's just that the difficulty, I would have liked it hyped up a little bit. Uh, and uh, there's a storyline to it now. I haven't experienced all of it, but there's a lot more to read. So I kind of like the lore uh, and the story. Uh, I love the fact that they're adding corporate wokeness to it, making corporations feel more realistic. Because nowadays, every single company is being woke. And you get corporations abusing worker rights, uh, abusing people in general, uh, being part of the problem, 
Uh, but they're trying to mask that by distracting people and talking about how woke they are, how progressive they are, how how good they are for for the rest of humanity. Uh, take take for example, you know, Blizzard is a perfect example where they they push out gay characters and they have transgender bathrooms, but they also do business with China and uh, they try to censor people on behalf of a very authoritarian and uh, uh, dictatorial government. So. This uh, game actually represents that. It, it makes fun of that. Um, apparently, there was a merger between uh, the Earth and Hell, and you get uh, a lot of corporate uh, jargon uh, saying that you shouldn't call the demons uh, demons because that's offensive. You should call them mortally challenged. Um, there was another one that said um, that they appreciate... Uh, the fact that people are going through this transition and that their suffering is inspiring. And as you, as you keep playing the game, you find more and more of these quotes. Um, they say, uh, you shouldn't worry about the future. Uh, to suffer is to be present. So, so there's, there's like really, really nice uh, throwaway lines there. Uh, all, uh, all the while they talk about the story and the lore of the Slayer and uh, his people, how they, uh, <clears throat> how they managed to get conquered by hell. So yeah, I, I find it interesting. The the gameplay is pretty much similar to the previous one, but again, it's it's simplified because you get so many bonuses. So many bonuses, like there is a rune where if you're about to die, then time slows down and you have like this matrix mode where everything is slow, but you can shoot and kill a couple of demons and regain some health. Um, I don't know, like, it's it's so, so much, uh, you, you get so many bonuses to the player, and I just don't see that the demons are getting an upgrade. Um, they're, they're still the same, it's just that you as the player are is more powerful. Um, the the new demon, the one with the brain, um, don't know its name exactly, that, that one seems to be uh, really strong. Uh, but other than that, no, like, you, you even get an air dash. So that when you're fighting the Hell Knights, the, the big brutes, the ones that are jumping and they're smashing their fist on the ground. Uh, if you jump, when they jump and you do the air dash, there is no way in hell they can hit you. Uh, unless you're being distracted by other enemies. You know, and it's like these things that they constantly just upgrade the player. They make the player a better killing machine. But they do not give any of these upgrades to the demons. In fact, they seem weaker now as they drop more, more health and stuff. So... Um, you know, again, I, I wish I could show you the gameplay footage. Like, I, I really wish. I, I could get this game on uh, PlayStation, but I, I can't play with, with the controller. I'm sorry. Like, it's I, I need I need the bottle of soap. I need the mouse in my hand in order to play accurately. Uh, and um, I can't do that on PlayStation. Well, this computer doesn't have a good uh, processor, so I can stream the game, unfortunately. Uh, but hopefully, once I upgrade it, I'll, I'll be able to play it, and I'll show you how, how easy the game is. Um, it, I, I think it's still hell for the video game journalist to play it. Uh, but anyway, right, no, I, I'm really passionate. I, I just wanted a more a bigger challenge, because the harder the game is, the more time it takes to, to complete it, and you spend more time playing it. You're enjoying it more. That's why I enjoy playing on uh, harder difficulty levels. Uh, plus, once you actually manage to finish it, uh, it feels better. Like, it feels better. And, and if you watch my previous playthrough of Doom, you will see that in the beginning I was just unable to get past even the first combat phase. It, it was very difficult for me. Uh, but after playing it for hours, I was just, like, strafing everything. I, I just unlocked the Ultra Instinct Saiyan modo, and I was just going through and killing all the demons, and it was great. Right. But hey, maybe maybe I can make a Let's Play of Resident Evil because uh, that one uh, is on the PlayStation. And again, I, I'm going to complain about Resident Evil because they, they also simplified it. Not by making the enemies any weaker there. But you get this ability to dodge in the last moment. Like in Dark Souls, you can do a roll. And after you do the roll, it slows down time. So you get like time to carefully aim and you do the headshots and stuff like that. And... I don't know. I, I wish like you can remove those from the game. Like uh, if they're in the game, they're very tempting to use, <laughs> you know. But uh, that was the Resident Evil Three demo. If um, in the game, maybe when you play the the harder difficulty, they remove that. Because if not, uh, you're going to see me abuse it and uh, turn you know a, a survival horror game into uh, something that's very easy to to get through. 
I wish a game journalist could hear what I'm saying and uh, see he, how he freaks out because it's heresy, isn't it? Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the comment section.